And uh, I have to do a little bit of a explanation to the next video. Um, the car I worked on prior to the 76. Um, it's 1980 um, C3 Stingray. It's the last of the C3s. Um, the car came to me uh, through a family friend uh, that had bought it through, well, he, I think he bought it out of Pittsburgh and uh, got it into Canada and he immediately uh, got work done on it. He got a 383 stroker uh, installed, new transmission, I think, I'm, I'm sure. Um, but he never did do an inspection prior to getting all this work done. So it sat in his garage because none of the electrical worked uh, inside the cab, like the power windows, uh, door locks, heater, uh, I th wipers, I think, didn't work. Pretty much everything. Uh, headlights did work. Signal lights worked but everything inside the cab did not. So when I found out about it, he said, yeah, it's been sitting in my garage for the last, uh, I don't know, I think he said three or four years. And uh, without hesitation, I said, get it to my place now. We'll figure out the price later. Because I can't, like, the guy put so much money into this car and he couldn't get it registered so he got it over. give me a day or two I'll evaluate the car and I'll let you know what it needs um, when it came over that night I went through it and I already I came up with the list so it was there's about two weeks worth of work so I let him know, you know, what it needs. He said, okay, yeah, that's good. Um, really, it was about $2,000 worth of uh, hardware plus a bit of my labor. My labor ended up being like 10 bucks an hour just because I wanted to see this car. And I had nothing else to do at the time. Um, work was slow. So I tore into it pretty quick. Um, I didn't do any video on the, the repairs because I just wanted to get it done, get paid, get it back to them. So it had uh, uh, power door locks had issues, um, wiring issues, uh, power windows, the motors were shot and wiring issues um, heater same thing wiring issues got it all fixed up got it uh, oh, 100% and that's what this video is going to be it's just showing what was done um, the, the ignition system actually failed while I was working on this car which was a new system not sure what exactly went wrong but the the, the 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 higher up you go like you want more power you pay for it so I had to change that out too at the end of the video uh, it'll explain why I'm actually doing this, but um, the the owner didn't survive. He passed away before I could get the car back to him. And I was a couple of days away from giving it back, and I had just talked to him like two days prior to his accident. So for a couple of days. Uh, I was pretty shaken and uh, 
Well, I just wanted to. Well, I just wanted to explain this is why I'm doing this pre-video to what I did with the car. I guess good enough. One of the things, one of the uh, extras, like once I got it ready for uh, inspection, which again didn't cost very much. Um, that part was pretty cheap, but then we talked about, well, what else do you want to do with this thing? Well, he, he wanted a stereo, so I gave it one of the, probably one of the best stereos I've ever done in terms of subwoofers, uh, just all the components that I put into this car. Wow, it, it, it's better than anything I own. So I really wanted him to have his dream car. I even made an attempt to get the uh, factory alarm system going, but that's a fool's errand. Um, I did get everything up and running, except uh, in the steering column there's a one last switch that does tend to fail and uh, that's where I stopped because it, it needed well there's a few other things it needed but I never did get to address it with the owner because well, I never got to see him again it was a very beautiful car and that's what inspired me to uh, um, that's actually the reason I bought that 76 Corvette because of all of that when uh, when I got the news of what happened I knew they may not want to keep the car so I I went online to see kind of what what they're worth uh, just like so give the family an idea what it should sell for if they want to get rid of it and in doing that I ended up seeing some pretty good deals and ended up buying one yeah I ended up buying one and that's what inspired these videos so I started recording I just record everything that could be of interest uh, and if it can be helpful to other people out there and I know it is even if it helps one or two people good enough I'll keep doing this finally got the vet done had to change the ignition module get all the wiring inside fixed up windows work door locks work rear defrost All the lights work now. And I gave it a custom sub box. <coughs> there's still room for the T tops to fit. pretty much my theme song working on this car
one last thing to do on this car that uh, I really did not expect that I'd be doing. I was uh, two days away from delivering this thing to the owner and I got a call that he uh, he passed away in a car accident so uh, it was requested that I make this piece <laughs> 